Good morning, YouTubers. I am back, um, and this one is going to be about auditors. We've already done a video on auditors, and it got a, a fantastic reception, either pro or negative. So uh, I want to talk to you because the comments that was thrown in um, for me, auditors, I had my own when I did the video. I had my own narrative on it, and I wanted to give you a reason why we did what we did and why we said what we did. But apparently there's a lot of people that like to log on and give me a load of comments about auditors. No matter what I say and what I do with it, you are always forming your own narrative. So if you just go back to the video in general, um, first of all, as you can see, I'm on a camera now, which could be on your TV, it could be on your computer. So I don't mind being filmed. That's what you don't have to get in your comments. I don't mind being filmed at all. I'm filmed for Channel 5, I'm filmed for different TV series, I'm filmed for YouTube, and I'm filmed for my podcast. So first of all, let's get that out there. I do not mind being filmed. What I do mind is when I'm on duty and I mind being filmed when someone comes up to you and sticks a camera in your face and talks to you with disrespect. Now, everyone is on the earth for a reason. Everyone goes about their daily business, but you do not have to talk to people with disrespect the way you do. Give an example. One of my colleagues has been found on social media recently for parking his car in a certain place. Um, to do speed checks, the person walks over, bangs on the car window and literally unleashes hell at this Bobby. No, good morning, how are you doing? No form of respect. Um, then the comments under it were comments such as like, we keep you in check, the police are here to keep, sorry, the audits are here to keep the police in check. Uh, we know more than you do. So let's go down this road first of all. What do auditors know? You know something about public land or you know something about your, your rights to film? Um, auditors are meant to be there to keep police in check. So if auditors are there to keep police in check, why do auditors go to um, door staff? Why do they go to swimming pools? Why do they go to areas of public places where they're entitled to fly the dr drones over? Why do they go to prisons, um, nuclear buildings? Why do they go to buildings of government? It's nothing to do with the police. It's to do with you expecting you've got power against the system. So a few comments that you've, uh, you've, you've said to me. I have wrote down on my professional pieces of paper because I'm a bit stupid like that. <clears throat> right, here we go. These are what you've put on my YouTube. This is not very professional coming from a public servant. First of all, I'm not a public servant. I'm a retired police officer. I do not work for the police anymore. And I am not a public servant when I was a police officer. I'm a servant of the crown. There is a complete and utter difference. If you knew that, you Google it and work that out for yourself. He's not the sharpest tool in the box. What's wrong with him? Well, first of all, I've got what's called post-traumatic stress disorder. I've got a mental illness. So that's why I struggle to get words out. If you told me to fuck off, I would headbutt you and do you in. You're just paranoid. See, this is, <laughs> this is, this is what I'm on about. You form your own narrative of what you want. So auditors, yeah, you can be there. You can be there to do a job, that's fine. You can be there to film a police officer when the police officers are doing their job. I recommend that because like I said, if there is any criminal officers that are out there, they should be thrown into whatever, cells or prison or jail, whatever you want to call it. They should be thrown in there. But the auditors that come up to the police station and talk to the bobbies with no respect at all and film the bobbies' cars in the car park, that shouldn't be on. That's the point that I'm getting to. And the last point in this, I said that I was followed home. I didn't say that I was followed home by an auditor. I said I was followed home because they knew my vehicle. And then you are filming officers' vehicles. That is the point when you're being intrusive and you are being pushing the Bobby from his workplace into his personal space. Do not film an officer's vehicle. The officer has a family and needs to be safe on a night. And apart from that, auditors, please go get a proper job and stop bothering police officers. So say if there were some auditors that were basically hanging around a Bobby that you knew. Yeah. That were a friend or a Bobby you worked quite closely with. And it turned out they were right about him and he was corrupt or yeah. whatever, how would you react then to, to, do you think you'd react differently towards auditors or do you think? Uh, no, I don't think I'd react differently to auditors, but I think he needs to be, being honest with you, I think he needs to be thrown under a bus. I think if Bobby is found to be corrupt or a criminal, he needs to deal with correctly and he needs to go to CPS, he needs to go to prison. No one, regardless of what job you're in, there should be no one at all that is protected by, so sort of like the law or whatever. Um, if you're a criminal and you're doing your job badly, you shouldn't be in that job. 
So being filmed isn't an issue. You've got to understand we've got body cams on. We've got cameras in the car. Nearly everywhere we go, there's CCTV. If we've not CCTV, there's random people getting their phones out. That is not an issue. What is the issue is when you're parking and you're doing something. So just say, for instance, like I said, this colleague of mine's parked up. When I say colleague of mine, I'm retired. So let's get that out in the air first of all. He sat there doing speed checks and he's doing them on a bit of road is, um, which is obscured by cars and is in a side road. Now, complaints have come in. This is a West Yorkshire Bobby. Complaints apparently have come in all over England about this, where the Bobby's parked. But the auditor goes up, bangs on the window and starts shouting at this Bobby like, how, how can you park here? This is dangerous. Well, it's not dangerous. It's parked on a quiet side road. But you do not know why that Bobby is there. All that street might have got together and campaign for an officer to come sit on that street because people have been knocked down and killed. You do not know that. You do not know there's something going on behind what you see of why we're there. They might be waiting for a stolen car. They might be waiting for a car that's involved in tourism. They might be doing something. And all that Bobby, Bobby's doing is trying to work and do his job. Then that person, the auditor, the, the cameraman, whatever you want to call it, just walks up to the side of the car, bangs on, and unleashes a foul mouth dross, shite, whatever you want to call it, comes out of his mouth towards his Bobby. And his Bobby sat there thinking like, well, what do you want me to do? If I'm hiding from a stolen vehicle, if I'm doing speed, because you've asked me to get there. What do you want me to do? Where do you want me to park? I'm in a plane car for a reason. It's the lack of respect. It's the lack of how you talk to it. It's the lack of how you, you approach. Now, what people are going to do, they're going to look at this and they're going to say, you've you shown me no respect. When have I ever shown you no respect? When have I actually dealt with you and shown you no respect? The people that I've dealt with have always been shown respect and the people that I've dealt with will say that Ben's always shown me respect. So don't tie me in with a Bobby that's dealt with you in Wiltshire, in Scotland, in America, in London, wherever. I am not that person. And just because you deal with one Bobby that might have a bit of disrespect for you or deal with that way, it doesn't mean everyone's the same. It doesn't mean we're a corrupt organisation or anything like that. You'll still go to your doctors, don't you? Well, if you go to your doctors, Harold Shipman were a doctor, does that mean you don't go to your doctors anymore? Does that mean truck drivers are all criminals because Pete Suckley for a truck driver? It doesn't. It basically means that you've got your own vendetta and you've got your own narrative of what you're going to be doing. So, no, I think the audit is the same. Now, if it were a member of the public, we're not we're separating this. If a member of the public, I praise that member of the public. If it were an auditor, I still feel the same about auditors. We, we need to split that down middle. Um, but yeah, the Bobby needs punishing. There should be no Bobby in the police that's a criminal at all. Done. One of them, I've watched recently, they're filming a TV series on a street and they're going up to the security guard who's blocking the, the street from members of the public walking down. And yeah, it probably hasn't got any power or right to do so because it's a public place at the end of it. But there's common decency. There's common, yeah, all right, I'm allowed to walk down that street. But the filming, I can see the filming, they're all doing a job. I won't walk down that street because they're doing a job. I would walk round. That's the difference. They're there to throw fuel on the fire. They're not there to look at the fire and control the fire. They're just there to ignite it. And that's why I think they're pointless.